Hello, welcome to Science Shop. Today we're going to be looking at the climate effects as well as the products of volcanoes. This is dead easy. We'll start off with the products of volcanoes. Most people, when asked to come up with something that comes out of a volcano, they're going to say lava. That's the easy one. Let's look at other things that volcanoes produce. Now, the other obvious one is something called ash. Ash is a type of tephra, so that's why I've written tephra here. So tephra comes under, um, well, there's three different types. You've got ash, you've got cinders, and you have blocks. So the only difference between those is basically the size. Ash being the smallest, blocks being the biggest. Okay? So we've had lava, we've had tephra. We also have this thing called pyroclastic flow. Now this is a very fast moving current of hot gases and volcanic material and this flows down the side of the volcano pretty much destroying everything in its path. Okay? Pyroclastic flow um, was basically responsible for the death of the people of Pompeii. Lehar. Now lehar is when volcanic material mixes with mud and it causes this tremendously destructive mudslide which you know is, is very dangerous. So that's lehar. And finally, we've got volcanic gases. So these are things like carbon dioxide, sulfur dioxide, nitrogen oxides, all of those things. Okay? Now, when we talk about climate effects, we have to think about what the volcanic gases do, as well as the tephra. Okay? So let's think about the volcanic gases first. Pretty much what we do as human beings in industry volcanoes do naturally themselves, okay? So humans are said to cause the greenhouse uh, effect. Volcanoes do the same. We've got greenhouse gases coming out of volcanoes, and what this does is it leads to global warming, okay? So that's the first thing. The other thing that um, these gases do is they react with the ozone layer destroying it, causing holes in the ozone layer. And that's bad news because then we're not so protected from the sun's rays and it leads to a rise in things like skin cancer. Now the other product of volcanoes is basically volcanic ash, which is a type of tephra. Now volcanic ash, what it can do is it can block out the sun. And when that happens, basically um, you get global cooling because the sun is blocked out the world cools down a little bit. So this is quite strange. Not only can you cause global warming, but you can cause global cooling as well. And in fact, the cooling effect, they say, is much greater than the warming effect. And they call that, if there's a massive, massive, massive volcanic eruption, like there has been in the past, um, the winter that comes after it, you call it a volcanic winter, okay? So you've got the ozone effect, which is holes in the ozone layer. You've got the greenhouse effect, which is global warming. And you've got the haze effect, and that is the global cooling, cooling phenomenon that happens with ash. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.